Hello everyone, welcome to Ground Up Academy and for today I have the Warrior Challenge for you. It is a very hard and rough uh, circuit. It is eight exercises of kettlebell lifting and you will be doing every exercise for 30 seconds with 15 seconds break in between every exercise. You will be doing this for a total of four sets and you'll have 15 seconds of rest in between sets. All right, everyone, here are the exercises that we're doing in the Warrior Challenge. We're starting off with the squat thrust alternating and the snatch, Turkish get up, tactical reverse lunges, halo V crunch, seesaw cleans, abs eights, renegade rows. All right, the moment of truth has come, everyone. What I recommend is that everybody do a thorough warm-up before doing this workout. Make sure you've got the body fully warmed up, charged, and activated before getting into this. And word to the wise, you need to have the bell that you're planning out through the circuit and one bell that's lighter in case you need to drop weight. And we're off. Squat thrust has commenced. As you come up on that squat thrust, you're going to transfer it from one forearm to the other. You're going to put both hands on the lever, and you're just going to pivot it from one side to the next. Now what I'm looking for in this exercise, I'm keeping my core tight, I'm inhaling deep when I come down to pack those lungs, and I come up and exhale when I come up on the squat thrust. And rest. Now let's get ready for the kettlebell snatch. You will only be using, you'll only be doing the snatch on one side of the body. Pick the bell that you are used to snatching, one that pushes you, that's not too much or not too little. I recommend that you start with your weak arm first. You will be doing the snatch only on one side per set. So every single time we do a set, you will only do one side and you're going to switch sides every other set. Remember your first uh, set, which arm did you start with? And rest. All right. Now, here comes the Turkish getup. You'll be doing this for 30 seconds, and you will only be able to do a maximum of two in 30 seconds. Stay focused on this one. Don't skip segments of the Turkish getup in order to get three. Nobody that I know or have not seen or myself has not done more than two good Turkish get-ups within 30 seconds. So just stick to two and don't skip any segment. Do each and every Turkish get-up perfectly one at a time. Maintain your breathing. Maintain your focus. Good. Rest. Now, rest it up, grab your reverse lunge bell, because we will be doing the reverse tactical lunges. All right. So step back into a reverse lunge and relay the bell underneath your hamstring from the inside out. Now I recommend that you grab the bell by the side of the handle, so the horns. So you have room for both hands to grab the bell at the same time and it makes it a smoother transition going from one hand to the next. Now do these reverse lunges one at a time. Make sure you've relayed the bell right and then come up. Okay, now we're gonna grab one of our bells and we're going to do the Halo V Crunch. So get ready for this one. Grab the kettlebell by the horns, bottoms up, and halo it behind your head as you're laying down. And you'll be keeping your chin touching your chest as you halo the bell around your head. And as soon as you halo on the other side coming up, you do a crunch up into a V Crunch. Okay, so on the way down, come around your head and as it's coming out from behind your head you come up on a crunch Three. inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up Good. rest in make sure you're taking good deep breaths and within these 15 seconds you can recover and we are off let's go with our seesaw cleans 
One bell stays rack, the other one is down, and you will move both bells at the same time. As you can see, I'm using my shoulder twist to give it a jerk pull. So have your feet well separated, focus on the arm that's doing the clean, and just let the rack bell just roll out down. Use your shoulders and use your hips to get the bells up in the clean. Excellent. Breathe, 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 and get ready. We're going to be doing the ab eights. So stay in a V crunch balanced position on your hip, and you'll be relaying the bell underneath your hamstring, and you'll be drawing an eighth with your legs and the kettlebell. This one's pretty easy. This one's just a balance exercise. So remember, you have to keep your core engaged in this one, and repetition will come by will come by itself. Repetition will come by itself as you breathe and as you stay focused in the movement. All right, last one in the circuit. I'm gonna drop down into the renegade rows. As you can hear me, I am breathing heavily because this is a heavy workout. All right, renegade rows. Do one row at a time. As you row, keep all your weight on the bottom bell and then lift the other bell off the ground. If you're new to this, you might want to separate your feet so you have more stability. Now, if you're advanced, you wanna keep your feet at shoulder width apart, okay? Try not to do any shifting of the body as you row up and down. You want to try to keep as still as possible. It is a hard thing to do, but it's going to maximize the exercise. Nice. All right, 15 seconds of air. Now we're going on set two. Now everybody remember that in this set, all the single-sided exercises you will be doing on the other side now. All right, squat thrust. Let your hips shift back like if you're sitting to a chair and squat thrust the bell up and toss it with your hands and That's alternate okay. it from one side to the next. I want, everyone, I want everyone to have fun with this one. This is a fun exercise. But under this circuit, you will feel it a lot. So it might not feel fun, but it is fun. And rest. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get ready for the snatch and get ready to switch hands. Remember, you gotta switch hands. You should be using right now your strong arm. And we are off. Pop those hips to lance the kettlebell out and catch it in a lock. Breathe in deep as you come down and exhale explosively as you go out into the snatch. Do one snatch at a time. Make sure you are locking it at the top and you have a still second before doing the next snatch. All right, get your mats ready, catch a breath. You'll be doing the Turkish get up. Drop to the ground on side lay, arm bar safety, bring it up. Get it in position and do the best you can to nail two full Turkish get-ups. Breathe in between and focus on the movement and focus in the balance. This is not easy. In the second set, you really are gonna feel how all these exercises put together are gonna tax you and they're not a joke. Good. All right, even if you didn't finish off and within the 30 seconds, just finish off in that little bit of rest. Make sure you land it so you do full, full Turkish get-ups every time. And good. Grab one of your bells. And now we're going to do reverse tactical lunges. Everybody excuse me if I did not start exactly within the 30-second mark. But what I want everybody to see is different angles of the workout so you don't get bored. And filming yourself and doing a circuit at the same time is pretty hard. Because as I was doing this video, I wanted to get a thorough workout for myself. I too have to, I too have to be strong from the ground up. 
Okay, rest, breathe, prepare yourself for the next exercise. Now comes the halo V crunch. Grab that bell by the horns. Keep your chin to your chest. And as you can see, I can comfortably halo the ball behind my head. Having the ball coming behind your head is going to work your lats more. And it's also going to get the triceps and it's going to fatigue your grip. Use the halo as it comes around. Use the thrust to your advantage to assist yourself coming in the crunch. And just come down on a slow crunch as you bring the bell back to come back for another rep. Breathe, 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 recover. Now come the seesaw cleans. This one's pretty rough. Give it the best that you can. Use your shoulders. Power pull the kettlebells to the rack and let the other rack kettlebell just simply come down. Focus on the arm that's doing the clean. So you're alternating arms every single time and you're alternating the drop every single time. Use your full body in this one. Breathe, stay focused, and do the best you can. Boom, rest, rest. Breathe, breathe. All right, abs eights or V crunch hold eights. Relay the bell underneath the hamstring and kindly bring it to the other side. Keep breathing, keep moving, keep breathing, keep moving. Repetition will come by itself if you focus on the movement and you focus on the breathing. Stay focused. And rest. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Get yourself ready for the renegade row. This might feel a little bit more wobbly than the first exercise, the first set, pardon me. <laughs> now get into position and row one bell. Bring it down slowly. Don't let the bell slam to the ground. You wanna do a full rep. And if you bring it up, you're not, you bring it up and let the bell come down quickly, you're not going to get the benefits of the negative. So bring the bell up, bring that shoulder blade all the way to the vertebrae and slowly let that bell down and try not to shift. I know I'm shifting here a bit, but this, this is a rough circuit, so I don't expect anybody to do this perfectly. This is very, very rough. That's why it's called the warrior challenge. This is a high stamina Three, and two, endurance exercise. One, and here we go. Whew. Squat thrust and alternate every single time. We're going on the third set. This is when it gets rough. But after you do the third set, the fourth set seems like butter. Okay, stay focused. Breathe in between movements. If you're getting dizzy, slow it down. Breathe more in between movements and then repeat. Good, rest. Make sure you're taking a deep breath through your nose, slowly exhale through your, through, slowly exhaling excuse me, through your mouth. So you can allow time for the air to catch as much carbon dioxide as you can. And snatch. Now everyone should be using the same arm from the first set. You should be using your weak arm. Uh, here I had to drop weight. Remember, if you're not able to hang, if you're not able to hang on to the kettlebell, drop weight. There's no shame in that. The purpose is that you finish the whole circuit and you try not to stop. That's the strategy. Do the best you can. This is not an easy circuit. Be flexible. If at any moment also you're getting too dizzy and you need to stop, stop, stop the clock, rest, and then continue the whole circuit from where you stopped. There's no shame in that. This is a rough circuit. Use this circuit to test yourself out. Test 
how your endurance is. See what are your limits. So as you do more exercises like these and more drills, you can measure your progress. You can feel it. And you can know it. And you can have gratitude for it. Good. Two get-ups within 30 seconds. A little bit over 30 seconds. It's no shame on going over time when you're coming back down from that last get-up. As long as you do the get-up, that's what matters. All right, let's get into our reverse tactical lunges. And here I am slacking because I need to move the camera and I am gassed out. So give me a moment here. We'll start, the, we'll start all over again. And here we go. Reverse tactical lunges. Back into full effect. You can hear me breathing really heavy. This That's is not a show. Good. I'm not doing this for the show. I don't do shows. This is real life. So you at your at this you at this point should be exhausted, should be tired. Three, All you have to two, do is breathe, one. balance, control, so you can make the goal, make the end. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Prepare yourself for the next exercise. Three, two, one, and one, here we go. Halo V crunch. Keep that chin to your chest. Bring the ha bring the ball halo behind your head, and as it come as it comes back up, you use that thrust That's to crunch right. up to the V crunch. Breathe on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Exhale, breathe. Three, Exhale, two, breathe. Two, one, breathe. Nice. Okay, let's get some air. Let's get some air. Recover. Get ready. And seesaw cleans is a go. Clean and release the other rack. Use your shoulders. Bend your knees slightly so you can give it a little bit of a thrust. And also you can catch the rack so it doesn't put too much pressure on your back. So try not to keep your knees locked Three, throughout this whole exercise. Two, one, rest. And rest. Almost there. Almost there. We're almost done with set three. And V crunch eights. Focus on the balance. Focus on the breathing. Your whole body is doing the balance and you're also using the kettlebell to keep your balance. So as the kettlebell moves around, you're moving with it so your body stays suspended in the V-crunch position. And like I said, you can take a break, breathe, breathe, and keep on going. Do the best you can. Some days you won't be 100%. Some days you're just not, you're just not fit enough because you went up on weight. Or maybe you haven't done this in a while or any drills like this that really push you to the limits. And it's important to do drills like this. You gotta test our stamina, we gotta test how we are under pressure. Because right now, we are under high intensity. And that high intensity gives us pressure, it makes us hard to focus, hard to stay in control of our movements. And sometimes when we stay focused so much, we forget to breathe. And that does happen. So try, try not to do that. All right, everyone, last set, best set. I always say that the third set is the punisher. The fourth set is the glory. Three, and let's get set. We're going to do the squat thrust for one last time. That's it. Now come down, inhale, keeping the core tight. Exhale and switch the bell from one side to the next. Keep your glutes tight. Initiate the move with the hip going back. 
keeping the shoulders packed, core tight, lower back and tight, and breathing and exhaling. Nice. Let's get ready for our snatches. Have the lower weight of bell there. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to do the first reps that I did on the third set. So I believe it were about three or four. And then I'm going to continue the rest with the purple bell, which is 20 kilograms. That green one is 24 kilograms, which is 53 pounds. And this one, the purple, is 45 pounds, 20 kilograms. Grape flavor. Nice. Yep. I let the bells go. Okay, everyone, gear yourself up for the Turkish getup. Ready and arm bar and come up on the getup. One getup at a time. In this last set, I want you to stay focused times two because in this last set, you are exhausted. So this is the pure test of stamina, endurance, mental toughness to control movement. This is what kettlebells are for. They are mental toughness for controlling your movement. High intensity exercises are necessary in order to know where you are. And they're also necessary so you can get mentally tough to control movements. Because many people can't control their balance, can't control motor skills when they're dizzy or when they're in the discomfort of high intensity exercises. And this is something that gets you to be strong and tough. That's why it's called the warrior challenge. It makes you tough, it makes you strong, keeps you fit, and make, keeps you mentally tough. And rest. Breathe in, breathe out. Stay focused. You're in the end. You're in the end. And halo V crunches. Let the ball go behind your head. Keep your chin to your chest. And exhale when you come up on the crunch. Inhale on the way down. At this point, I'm inhaling and taking two deep breaths as I come down. So if you can, do that too. Just pace yourself on the way down. Breathe, breathe, boom. Breathe, breathe, boom. And rest. Rest it up. That's it. You can hear me breathing deep. This ain't a show. This is for real. And here we go. Seesaw cleans. It's a full body. This makes your bicep and your forearms on fire. Breathe, focus, do the best you can. Three, two, I couldn't take it anymore there. So do the best you can. Once you've been driven to the limit, stop. Stop, keep on going. Next time when you do this drill again, you'll see that you'll progress and your endurance and your strength will go farther and farther. Stay focus on the breathing, focus on the movement. You're in the end. You're in the end. That's why it's feeling heavy. That's why you're dragging. That's why you're dizzy. Because you're in the end. You've made it this far, so you can't quit now. Drop the weight or breathe more in between repetitions. Stay focused. Last exercise. Nice renegade rows. Stay focused. Remember, this is a heavy lift with balancing. So stay focused in the balance. The lift is the easy part. It's balancing that makes it hard. 
Focus on the balance. Focus on the breathing. Focus on the balance. Breathe, balance, control. They gave up. And going Three, back in. Two, one. Your timer is complete. All right, everyone, you have just completed the Warrior Challenge, one of the hardest kettlebell drills there is. I hope you liked it because this is a great way to test yourself, condition yourself to get strong and tough and last long as you do work in sports. Make sure you take about 10 to 15 minutes to recover after doing this drill. You will feel the effects of this drill for the next two hours after completing this exercise. So please be patient. Make sure you get a full meal and chill out for the rest of the day. Well, there you have it. Once you're done with the warrior challenge, you have to be gassed out, dizzy, and after the second set, you're going to think that you want to quit. And if you're thinking that you want to quit, you're in a good spot. You can't quit. You have to keep on going. Drop the weight if you need to. Go slower and breathe more in between movements, but don't give up. Focus on the movement. Focus on the breathing, and repetition will come by itself.